conference was excellent. What I liked most is that it was with very good vibes. People were smiling, they were laughing. There was a lot of applause. People were reacting very lively to what we were saying. Everyone was in a good mood. Maybe it is the particularity of Indonesia. People are always in a good mood. And I'm very happy that our conference was at a very high emotional level, energy level. I learned about this project in 2018. Of course, I got interested in the project. Because this technology is ecological. There is a big problem currently in terms of ecology. The technology satisfies all these needs. And thus investors will be able to get profits from using a modern ecological technology Slavyanka. Of course, getting profits after you have invested plays an important role for us. However, the most important thing is that this technology can be really called grandiose, outstanding. And that is why I took the decision on cooperating with Solar Group and investing into Savalmash. I took the decision to invest into Solar Group because I see a big future, a bright future of this company. Solar Group is not just about investing, it is about preservation of nature and of the environment. Investing in the company, I get not only profits, I promote solving global ecological problems that our planet will face in the future. I hope that more and more new people will be able to join the project and to invest their money in it more actively. Because to develop this project, to develop this technology, for this technology to access new markets and to receive big orders, we need to attract money. So it is extremely important for all of us to support the company and the project. Laura is the national partner of the Solar Group company. She is the most important person for us today in Indonesia. It's her who sets the trends and waves of development of the region. And judging from the results, we see that she is doing it very successfully. Of course, no process is possible without a team. And Laura's team is also contributing a lot to all of it. Under her supervision. I loved very much the way she was presenting today. It was very energetic. And I even thought that she should have spoken more, because when she was speaking, people were applauding, they were happy, they were responding something. The conference was at a very high level. Representatives of the company shared very important and detailed information, which was very useful for those who don't fully understand the principle of the technology. Information was conveyed in a very clear way by Andrei Lobov, Pavel Shatsky and Pavel Filipov, as well as Viktor Aristov. The conference, which took place on the 22nd of October, is the first conference in Indonesia, which makes it very special and very important. It was just incredible. After four years of raising funds, Finally, representatives of the company visited us in Indonesia. It was the first time. The atmosphere was really pleasant. We can say with certainty that representatives of the company managed to establish a good rapport with partners and to share very important information about the project. Out of everything that Andrei Lobov said, I was most interested in using boat motors. If this project can be implemented in my region, where many people go fishing, it will definitely be very useful. I hope that very soon this project will be launched in this area.
well, I don't want to unveil too much, but all the developments which were shown, all of them provoked interest. Even our husky, even though it rides on snow. However, most questions, most projects, all the attention was rather drawn to boat motors. Indonesia is thousands of islands, a lot of states, and each state has water transport. People get around using water transport. People get food, they go fishing on boats, on water transport. Tourism on islands is very developed here. On Bali, for example, it is also water transport. So we were asked tons of questions. For how long can a person ride on a boat? What's the power of your boat, of your motor? How long will it go? What distance will it cover? How to service it? All of it was about boat motors. The most interesting thing from Andrei Lobov's speech, for me it is using the technology in coastal regions for water transport. Besides, I was really interested in compact motors for motorbikes and scooters. We have many and many of them. Still, as I said earlier, information that Andrei shared will be particularly relevant for coastal regions. It will allow us not to use fuel anymore and thus to make energy much cheaper. The Slavanka technology can be applied in boat transport. And to ride boats using solar energy from solar panels which will be installed on boats without an accumulator, without charging. This solution will be very profitable for fishermen and people who use water transport. I have no doubt at all that the project will be successful. Right from the beginning I never had any doubt. Despite the fact that when I started investing myself, I did not understand all the details and all the subtleties of the project. Still, I was 100% sure of its realization and success, otherwise I wouldn't have invited people to join the project. Thanks to today's conference, we received new knowledge and we acquired confidence. So there is no doubt at all. I hope that this conference will become a good driver of development of the region of Indonesia. I wish to Indonesians to join our project, to study deeper, to see for yourself that we have answers to all your questions. And it is just the beginning. Our beginning in Indonesia, even though work has been going on for several years. We are just at the beginning. I'm sure that results will make everyone happy.